Roger, Atlas Control, this is 1134. Check for green. External disturbance detected. Cryogenic chambers compromised. Chamber Omega-5, online. Initiating emergency nanotrite activation. Three, two, one. Nanotrite sequencer, online. Release cryogenic chamber seals. Internal arc temperature, nominal. Rebooting internal data systems. All nanotrite bio-augmentation systems fully deployed. Nanotrites active. Current position unknown. Remote location beacon offline. Running full diagnostic tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. Safe egress is now confirmed. Outer door lock disengaged. Safe here, get in. I know you got questions, but we gotta get moving. Got bandits all over these hills. We best get going. I'm Dan Hager, and you are one lucky son of a bitch. You know, Ark survivors are worth a lot of money to whoever hands them over to the authority. You don't even know the authority yet. Well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Hold on. Got bandits. Damn shame you're still wearing that ARC suit. It's a dead giveaway. Pretty much their world out here. Probably looking for their buddies. Damn, now we both got a problem. We need to get to my place. Once they see what I've done, they'll be coming for blood. And for you. I've got a plan that might get us both out of this mess. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. Come on, 
this way. You know, I put a lot at risk to save you. Not just my life, but the lives of everyone here. I survived this long by staying out of trouble. Saving you may have changed all that. So here's what I need you to do. Head to where those bandits live and wipe them out, plain and simple. No one walks out alive, except you. You can use one of my ATVs in the garage and that pistol and the supplies on the table. Oh, and you won't just get my thanks. One more thing. Those bandits shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special about you Ark people. You need to find their hideout and take... the problem. It's us or them, and they'll be coming.
Look at what Hagar said to us. How dare you think you can walk into our house? Take him to the kill room. Ah, you're awake. Good. I like my prey to know what's coming. I promise this will hurt. <laughs> Over there! 
Good work. We're all a little safer because of that. You got our thanks and that suit of armor I promised. But as you can see, we got other trouble. Listen. The settlement was attacked while you were gone. Bunch of bandits we've never seen before. They didn't take anything, they just came for the kill. We have some good people hurt. And we're running low on medical supplies. I'm gonna need your help again. Just past the hill across the way, you'll find another settlement. They tend to stick to themselves, but they're friends. And they have what we need. Just give this letter to Richter. He'll know what to do. If you help me again, I'll make thank you. And before you go, make sure you got everything you need. Ammo, wing sticks. If not, see Halleck. He's right under the old sign out front. Welcome, stranger. Name's Halleck, and it's a pleasure meeting you. I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting. Best stuff in the wasteland. Oh, and uh, if you find something of value and you don't need it, bring it here. I pay nicely for quality goods. Care to uh, browse my selections? What you looking for? See you soon. Looking for Richter? He's up there. If you got business here, go and talk to Richter. He's the man in charge. You need something, stranger? Hmm. Well, Dad's run into some trouble again, I see. Well, Janice is going to need to see this list. Go on. She's just up there. You're the note, but when you're done, Come back here. I may have something that'll interest you. You must be one of Dan's new boys. Let me see what you need. Hmm. Some of these things I'll need to track down. But you know the way it works here. We help you, you help us. Right? A member of our group. Juno went missing a few days back, and I'm getting real worried about him. So while I gather your supplies, how about you go look for him? If you find any trace of him, I'll reward you with my own recipe for making healing bandages. Can you please do good luck, and I pray that he's safe. Couldn't help but notice, stranger, that gun you're carrying isn't much anything. 
Could set you up with some real firepower. Help us out here, and I'll give you a real weapon. Our radio tower up on the hill stopped working. We need someone to fix it. Yeah, probably just out of alignment. You get it. Good luck. This should be an easy job. Check it out!
Bad stranger. Didn't know about the mutants. We usually don't get them this far out. You did good though. See Janice. She's waiting to hear what you found. Juno's dead? I knew something was wrong, but I had hoped he would show up. This world takes so many good people. But thank you for looking, and here is what you need, as well as the plans to make your own healing bandages. Just look for the things listed and put them together. They will help you whenever you are hurt. Thank you again, and good luck. starting to think I made a good decision by saving you. You truly are someone we can trust, and I am in your debt. Now go talk with DR about that buggy. Look for him in the garage.
Hey, buddy. Dan said you were taking that old buggy off my hands. Truth is, not a bad vehicle, but, see, it needs work and parts. The work, I can do, but the parts, you're gonna need to get. Johan, back at the Outrigger settlement, should be able to help. Sound good? Okay, see you back here when you get the parts. So, DR needs some parts for that old buggy. Hmm. Man, he should just junk it. Now, I'd like to give the parts to you, but I'm afraid I have a small problem. I'm afraid bandits raided my garage not too long ago and ran off with most of my spare parts. You're gonna need to go down to their hideout near the old dam and find what you need. Think you can handle this? Could get a bit hot in there. It won't be easy taking on the bandits on their own turf. What the bloody hell? Let's just... Lead out there! Chop, chop! Hey, over there! Someone get up there! Alright, moving up! He's on me! Run 
for me! All right then! There he is! Did you catch that episode of Bash TV last night? Fuck yeah!
We're gonna need some help here! Droid in! Ah! Oh! Fuck this, you bastard! He's got me destroyed! Ah! Oh!
Did you hear heard something? Uh, yeah. Those bards should do the trick. Okay, the buggy will be ready soon, but there are a couple things you have to know before you take that thing out for a ride. Remember, the wasteland is a dangerous place. Give me a call if you ever smash your vehicle up and can't drive it. I'll give you a lift back here. And also, if you need any repairs, just drive back to the garage and I'll fix her up. Okay, let me get these parts installed and you'll be all set. Go ahead and grab that radio on the counter there. You're ready to go. Take it out for a spin, but remember, call me if you need a tow. Alrighty then. Go ahead and get in. How do you like that buggy? <laughs> it isn't much now, but you put some guns on it and you'll be able to go up against just about anything. Now, you ready for some more work? Some bandits have taken control of the checkpoint at the canyon entrance, trying to cut us off from the big town to the east. And we can't let that happen. I need you to use your special talents for a demolition job. You think you can do this for me? I'll even let you use my trusty sniper rifle. Excellent. Here are some explosive charges. Just place them on the gate.
I've put together my own little time trial race. You want to give it a go? Nothing too challenging. It's just a little course that I race on. Tell you what, beat my time, friend, and I'll give you a nice little boost upgrade for your buggy. You want to give it a shot? Good luck. Well, I am impressed. You are, as we say, a natural behind the wheel. And wait till you feel the boost kick in on that old buggy. Great work. You know, you being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just gonna attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east. And I've got to get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew I could count on you. Remember. Just cross the courtyard once you're in town. Get me. 
miss it. Don't waste the mayor's time. If you're looking for a race, go see Jackie Weeks. He's in the back of town. You knew? Hold it there, pal. The bar isn't open to drifters. You want a drink in this town? You know. Whoa. I haven't seen anyone dressed like that in a long time. You're new here. Stranger, huh? <laughs> yeah, you do look pretty strange. Sure I saw them. Mutants. Ten, twenty of them. All over that valley. Had a hold of That's why you... Will you look at how you're dressed? This is Mayor Clayton's town. He founded it, then convinced just about it. We've always got you space in town? No, I got everything you need to keep the view. Hey, my friend. I must say, you do look like a racer if ever I saw one. Why not try your luck on the track and earn some racing certificates? Trust me, they can be mighty useful. Greetings. Name's Jackie Weeks, and I'm the Empresario who runs all the high-speed races in Wellspring. And I do mean all. If you're interested in testing your skill, you can go talk to my business associate over there, Slim. He can get you all set up to race. And do come back if you feel the need for some speed.
Now listen, I only take racing certificates for any upgrades or parts, and you gotta win those on the racetrack, nothing else. So if you want to deal with me, you best see Jackie Weeks first. He's always on the lookout for new racers. Greetings, stranger. <laughs> you look like a racer to me. Hey, you ready to try and win some racing certificates? Welcome, friend. Name's Carl, but seems like everyone calls me Slim. <laughs> Funny, huh? All right, the deal is, if you want to race, you talk to me. Now, just take a look at all the events we have here. Find something you like, and assuming you meet the requirements, then you're in. All the prizes aren't racing certificates, you know. Good to get new vehicle upgrades at Rusty's. <laughs> but everyone needs those. Care to look through the list of events? Drive safe. Check out what races are available. See you again! Look no further than here. Excuse me.
pardon. It has come to my attention that a number of you are not perfect. Cheers, friend. I've got the best vehicle parts anywhere. Parts for sale here. Remember, working together, we can keep this city clean and safe. Thank you. Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly, even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time, though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you, too. You can stay here in Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the Ark suit for something a bit more... modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some new- Good! Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat. from the past walks through my door and goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Buy and sell all manner of goods here. I have some of the finest goods. Doing business with you? 
You best keep it. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got that? After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> You're gonna like our share. Well, During our last town hall meeting, it was decided that we would continue our much needed expansion. Well, well, well. How'd it do to you? And what can Mick do for you? Oh, a garage? Well, you've come to the right place. So here's the deal. Fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal! And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, yeah, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, why, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? And that door there will get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town. Let me guess, you're the stranger that Clayton says has taken some stuff to Dan's place. I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see Rusty by the track entrance. Get some firepower, then you can come back and take the supplies to Dan.
parts for sale here. Here to browse my selections? soon. Good job. Those guns should keep you safe. Enough. Go ahead and grab the supplies now and just blow anyone away that tries to stop you. Now move out. Damn water spot. Didn't pay film. Looking for work? Cost of water? Well, well let me give you some advice. Your reputation is everything here. If people don't know you, they don't like you. And you gotta earn their respect. Best way to do that is by making the road safer. Simply stated, destroying bandits. Makes people like you and brings business into my little bar. So I'll make a deal with you. Every bandit car you destroy in the wasteland, I'll reward you. A little. I'll make money. You make money. We got a deal? Excellent. I think you're learning how things work around here. Well, if it isn't a stranger from nowhere, care to try your luck at a game of cards?
look as bad. Well, good to see you again, friend. Almost gave you up for lost. And I see you ditched that arc suit. <laughs> Why, you could almost pass as one of us. Did old Clayton come through? I know you took some chances getting these back to me, but these supplies will really help my people. I always pay back any favors, so I want you to have my pride and joy. The Desert Striker Crossbow. Not your typical bow. It has twice the punch, and no one will hear you use it. Go ahead and grab the crossbow. Now for the bad news. We've seen some authority patrols not far from here. They must have heard there's an ARC survivor somewhere. You best get back to Wellspring until things quiet down. And good luck, my friend. Hey, pal. Mayor Clayton and Sheriff Black been asking about you. You in high demand around here. Remember, if you run out of ammo for the guns on your buggy, you can always buy more from both copper and supplies and rusty by the racetracks. Problem, and I believe you might be the man for the job. The North is a dangerous place for small buggies like yours. Afraid you're gonna need something with a little more muscle. You need to get your hands on a Caprino. And I got supplies I need to run up north, but come back when you have the right wheels, alright? The easiest way to get a Caprino is to win one. Try Jackie Weeks. He can set you up with just the right kind of race. Hello. Attention! The Dusty Eight sponsored event is now open. Always a local favorite. Are you looking for a better set of wheels? Then the Dusty Eight sponsored event is just what you need. This event gives our local business leaders a chance to show what they've got for sale. A little promotion mixed in with all that speed and the mayhem. Win-win, as I say. The best racers win the best cars. You want to race? Then you'll need a sponsor. I hear the guy that runs that show Mutant Bash TV or something like that is looking for a driver. Maybe you should talk with him. <laughs> you can find his little shack of horrors down by the Southern Highway. Just look for the sign with his face on it. Listen, my friend.
Look here! A new face, a new body. Oh, I am so glad I got out of bed this morning. <laughs> Let me guess. You need a sponsor. Great! Muy bueno! We are simpatico, eh? <laughs> you want a sponsorship, and I need a contestant. The game is easy. You enter my little arena, and the game begins. Rule's pretty simple. Kill or be killed. You make it through alive, give me a good show, and you'll have your sponsorship. Easiest sponsorship in the wasteland. You ready? Excellent! Put a good show on and I'll put it in reruns for years. <laughs>
and money prizes. It's very simple. Shut the target to stop each wheel on a prize before the time runs out. Watch out for mountains! <laughs> Contestant this month, here's your sponsorship letter. Good luck in the race. But, but, but now before you go, care to star in another episode? I've got big money prizes. As before, the game is simple. This time though, it's a little more challenging, but for a contestant like you, <laughs> no problem. So, you ready for episode two? Excellent, excellent. Just pass through the doors one more time, and good luck. Welcome, viewers, to another exciting episode of Mutant Bash TV.
to win some big money prizes. It's very simple. Shoot the target to stop each wheel on a prize before the time runs out. Watch out for mutants! <laughs> Excellent work! You are now my favorite contestant, really. I mean that. And here's what I owe you. Oh, yeah! And I'm readying the arena for the next season, which will start soon. So come back later if you want to star in more episodes. <laughs>
It's been a long time since LJK had a driver in this event. I do hope you can drive as well as you shoot. Now, go see Slim, and good luck to you. Check out what races are available. Good luck! Welcome, race fans, to the exciting Dusty Eight Sponsor Race. Today, we get a rare glimpse at the best drivers competing for the... Great race. I'm glad you got yourself something that won't fall apart in a fight. And it's perfect for the little task I have for you. The Northern Watchtower needs to be resupplied, but the bandits won't make the trip easy. Luckily, I think you're the guy to do it, now that you've got a vehicle with a little more armor. It won't be easy, 
You think you're up for it? Good luck. My men can't wait forever. So, good day, my friend. The name's Stanley, and this package service is the Stanley Express. If Stanley can't get it there, and my motto goes, nobody can. <laughs> uh, but you see, I, I need drivers. Lost a few lately. Uh, now, don't worry, the job couldn't be easier. All you gotta do is select a destination, and off you go. Of course, there is a bit of time pressure. People want their things when they want their things, right? But you make the delivery on time, and I'll pay you well. Miss the time, and sorry, you get nothing. It's called Stanley Express, not Stanley Almost Express. Looking to make some money? Drive safely!
Excellent work, buddy. Sure needed those supplies. You watch yourself heading back. Got bandits all over these parts. Great work. Heard my guy in the tower was mighty happy to see you. And here's a little sum for your effort. Now that you've been up north, I bet you've seen those small remote bomber cars in the canyon. Big trouble those have become. They're made by the Shrouded Clan. Smart bunch of bandits. And to keep that canyon safe, we need those things stopped. What I need you to do is get inside their hideout, find the stockpile of bomb-making parts, and blow it to hell. One of my men uncovered their plans to make the damn things. You'll be able to build one and use it to get in. You think you can do this? Take these plans, build bombs yourself, and use them against those bastards. You need to destroy the shrouded... You're pretty handy. You need to be careful out there.
Come out! Fire! 
my great pleasure to announce that Clear the travel the restriction north of the city has been lifted. Now that is another bit of good work. Those little RC bombs were nasty. Now, thanks to you, they're gone. You've proved to be mighty useful. Good to have a guy like you. Go check with Mayor Clayton. Last I heard, he had some jobs that need to be done. I can use someone with your skills. Little problem up north that I need someone to check out. Bandits been digging in a crater north of here. And rumor has it they're refining pure feltrite. And in their hands, that's dangerous stuff. I'm gonna need you to run up there and take a look. Get me a sample of whatever the bandits are making. You'll have a long drive to get there through some mighty dangerous areas. So make sure you're well stocked with supplies before you head out. Just keep moving, my friend. Give me a sample of whatever the bandits are. Attention, good people of Wellspring. It is my pleasure to announce a recent trade agreement with the town of Gun Barrel in the Southern Territory. This trade route will be a great benefit to all of us. <laughs> Care to browse my selection? Care to trade? Day to you.
north of the city has been lifted. But please keep in mind that the <sighs> Well, good work. Guess you were the right man for the job. I knew those bandits were up to something. This is good proof. But whatever it is you got there, it can't be safe, that's for sure. I want you to take it to someone who can tell us what it is, and whatever the hell we better do about it. Old man Kavas here. Hermit lives by himself. He's a pretty smart guy. Take that sample to him. He can take a look. I'll let Kavas here know you'll be coming. Crazy guy doesn't take to strangers just to pop in. During our last town hall meeting, it was decided that we would continue our much needed expansion. Let's see what you have there. Put it on the counter and we'll see what has Clayton all worried. Hmm. Interesting. Felt right. Okay, I need to run tests on this. Might take some time. But you, you also look interesting. There's something different about you. Best I take a closer look at you too. Interesting, very interesting. You got all those little computers racing around inside you. Secrets, secrets. Everyone's got a little secret. And you must be one big little secret. Haven't met one of you for a long time. Since working with the Authority up in the city. You don't know how lucky you are that the Authority hasn't found you yet. <laughs> If the Authority catches you and you don't have anything they need, you'll be dead. You are part of the old world, not part of their new world. Of course, there are people who stand up against them. Not many of them. They call themselves the Resistance. 
Not that I profess to have any special knowledge of them. But they exist in small bands, fighting back. And maybe, just maybe, you could be useful to them. You survived this long. You must have some survival skills worth using. But you aren't going to last long in a firefight against the Authority with that standard defibrillator in your chest. I can give you an upgrade for it. Something that might keep you alive longer. But that will require a little effort on your part. You see, I don't have the necessary equipment here. But you can find what you need in the dead city. A well-named place, as you will soon see. In the middle of the city is a hospital. One I was proud to work in. Until the research took a decidedly twisted turn. I didn't see everything that was done there, but I heard the rumors. Now it's surrounded by a tremendous wall filled with living memories of the horrors committed there. Going there and getting back won't be easy, but without an upgraded defib, the hospital is in the middle of the city. Find your way into the basement. Look for anything relating to the ARC program. That should be the place to find that upgrade. Oh yes, I almost forgot. The only way into the city is through the sewers outside the walls. Good luck.
You made it back in one piece! Now, just stay still and I'll get that defib upgrade installed. Shouldn't hurt. Too much. Okay, there you are. Now, you have twice the resurrection power. And I do believe that you will need it. Remember, the authority is ruthless. Alone, it is only a matter of time before they get you. Your future will lay ultimately with the Resistance. But that isn't the path we need to take now. All right, I've finished analyzing the Feltrite sample you brought. What the bandits are trying to do, successfully it would seem, is refined the felt right into an explosive accelerator. Very dangerous in their hands. This piece has been neutralized, but you best bring it to Clayton. He needs to know what he may be facing. Take it to him. Come again soon, my friend from the past. <laughs>